Hello everyone and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. This is episode 9. We are back here doing some stuff. I'm cold. It's really winter out. As you can see we got our barn up over here on the other side where we were going to put it. Which is good. I really got to remember everything that I was doing because it's been quite a while since I played actually. We do have some carrots planted over here. Try to make us a little bit of food. We are cold. I don't know what we have here for tools. Like I said, I don't remember much. <laughs> That's insulation. Well, let's head back in here until I do figure it out. Ah, there we go. I was going to pull out a torch, but we might have to actually make one. Uh, wow, my controls are just not what I remember. Let's see, uh, da 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 da, torch. Stick, and so we need straw. Do we have straw in here? Let's see, whoop. Okay, well I hit the button and I guess we have one. So yeah, we put our barn up over here. Which is good, because this is where our crops are going to go on this side. So I'm thinking we could put one on either side of this. Clear some stuff out, make some room. Um, we do have other stuff down here that we are going to put here eventually. Let's see, what we're we going to... Okay, so there's resource storage here. And I believe this is food storage. So yeah, we got a couple of things that we're going to have to work on and build. I'll probably do that off camera though. Right now it seems like we're doing alright at the moment. Let me grab some food. Open this. Uh, da -da -da -da, potage. We'll grab a couple of those. And in our inventory. Why don't we eat those too? Yeah, we're doing pretty good now. And let's see what we're doing on wood over here. Looks like we do have some. We get 16. Can we pick up 10? Just barely. And planks. We're going to craft all of these. Alright. And there's a couple of things I wanted to do. It looks like we're kind of warm enough with a torch. Oop. Wrong button, wrong button. Okay. I wanted to take a look at handcrafting. Nope. Furniture. I wanted to make one of these because I knew we would have enough. And we're going to kind of stick that somewhere here, I guess, wherever we. It's too uneven. Maybe we'll put it over here, close to the water somewhat place and we just gotta have a bucket to fill it and then we can wash up all right let's take a look uh, da -da -da -da. bucket 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 oh you know what I bet she has the bucket over in her house yeah so we'll take this transfer it Fill. All right, and we should be able to equip the bucket, right? I don't remember all of those buttons, switches. That is not the right button and switch. Um, aha. So we gotta go in here under one of these. Right here, equip. I will put it in our one slot. Aha, I'm learning. There we go. Fill bucket. All right, then we can put this in here. Fill. Still not completely full yet. Oh, we're drinking now. I did not mean to do that. Where's a bucket right here? 
I forgot it's gonna unequip every time. All right, fill bucket. Maybe this will be enough to fill it. Almost. Equip there. This will do it. Fill. Okay, now we're gonna stick the bucket. We probably have, okay, so we have about the same amount as what we did before. So, we'll put this back in here. And transfer. Still got some decent food. She's only down to one firewood. Let's just top her off with some firewood here. We'll grab the rest of these logs out of here. And underneath our handcrafting menu, I think we can craft firewood. Yeah. Let's do that. So just some maintenance today. In the cold, I'm carrying too much. It's okay, because we got a decent chunk of firewood, so. As long as I stay warm with this torch, we gotta clean up afterwards, because I didn't even use the tub after we finished it. Alright, and we should have firewood 24. We'll put that over there. Eventually, we'll be, when we have our food storage done. We'll be able to just put food in there and the whole village will eat off of that, which will be nice. Alright. Put our bowls back in here. Alright, we still have quite a few planks, so we can go build some more vials. Let's take a bath first. There we go. We'll go here, craft our vials. That will make us some money. I already got some vials in here. This will be another 140. It's a decent chunk. We'll put our sticks in here. Our feathers can probably go in the hunting shack. There we go. And I don't think we have anything else. There. So why don't we sleep until the next day? Because it is winter. And it is night time. I was hoping it would be a little warmer. <laughs> it is not. So, what we can do, I really don't know if I want to go out and gather logs, because it's going to be cold. I believe our worker is still on, so we could always, management, she should be, yeah, woodshed, extracting. Does she have everything she needs? Oh, go back to management. Uh, da, da, da. I'm trying to think, does she need a, she might need a couple of axes. Is that something we can make right here? Sticks and stone. Do we have any of that? stone on us. What did I see? Where would we have put stone? Will you put it in here? Yep. And sticks. So let's make her a couple of these. Let's make her two. And we'll put those in the chest so she has them. And 
and we'll put what we have left of sticks and stones back because we have to make arrows with those. All right, and does this actually freeze over? Well, it doesn't look like it. And we'll put two axes in here. Stone axe, 100%. That one's 100%. So she should be good to go. Now what we could do, seeing how we're plenty warm enough. What do we need to make another sticks and straw? Let's, uh, I think I put sticks actually in here last time, didn't I? Yeah. Let's grab like 15 sticks out of here. Check our barn for straw. And as long as we have enough to make another torch... We might head to this waypoint up here. It's only 400 some odd meters away. Let me see. Straw, straw, straw. Yes, we got some right here. Oh, hit the wrong button again. Let's make sure. Let's craft one of these. Do we have enough to make another one? Yeah, so we'll keep those resources on us. Just because we might need them. Right now we're not doing too bad. We got full food, full water, full health, full stam. So we can kind of, I think this is talk to Sambor, so we'll head up here. We need to hunt boar and fox too, but we could while we're out here. Although we need our torch to stay warm, but if we... See something like that. I've hit him with like three arrows now. How is he still alive? Got him. Nice. Let's take that. We'll skin this badger. There, we got some meat. Okay. We're getting cold. Let's head back here. We'll collect our arrows. We're not unbearably cold, though. We are cold, but only when we don't have our torch out. Okay, I got a couple more arrows over here. Collect these guys up. Any more? No, I think we're doing pretty good. Alright, let's continue. Not too bad for a hunt, right there. We are not too far away. I'll be glad when winter is over. I kind of like it as far as seeing the scenery I guess of it but I don't really like it for the effects that it has on us we don't really have enough clothes to keep us warm without a torch right now so we're close I think if we can get another item of clothing before next winter we'll be doing good I was hoping we might come across some loot while we were on our way, but I haven't seen anything cart-wise. We're just kind of slowly trekking along. We did get some meat so we can take that back to cook up. There's another bird. Got him. All right, let's skin this bird. There. Some feathers, some meat. We need all that for arrows and stuff. Oh, there's a fox. We need him. Stop. Okay. 
We hit him. We got him twice. Ugh. I can't believe that we didn't kill him. Oh, there we go. He's down. So we needed a fox. One or we needed three, either a boar or a fox. So there's one of our foxes. Oh, get our torch back out here. That was for one of the missions, so... Steady progress, steady progress. There we go. Alright, that first torch just broke. We still have a backup that we can make. I think that's all of our arrows, right? So keep our eyes peeled. If we can end up with another couple of foxes... I mean, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Two missions. Oh, boy. This might not end well, folks. Ow. Oh, no. Well, we met a f hungry wolf along the way. And now we don't have our fox. Well, shoot. Okay. I don't think... So I think all we did here was take 15 of these and our straw and then we just took off so I'm pretty sure all we really need to do is take this we'll make a backup torch and now we're good well dang it Hungry wolves. Can we make a spear? We need a log. We can. We'll just have to go up here and get a log. If we had two or three spears, that way we could combat like a wolf like that if we come across it. Again. Keep our eyes peeled and see if we can at least get a fox again because... That will be helpful. I was so proud of ourselves. We were doing two missions at once almost. Alright, let's take a couple of these logs. See if we can make three spears. Alright, let's put those spears... Put them in our one slot, and we'll actually have them ready to go, just in case we encounter a wolf again. Well, dang it. I wasn't anticipating that. But we'll keep our eyes peeled, see if we can get a fox again. That would be nice. Oop, there's a fox again. Let's see, can we take him out? Here we go. Okay, so I lost sight of the fox. We're at Sambor's place now. Um, I was hoping to see another fox, but if we know they're up, they're up here. We can come back pretty easily. What's that? 
Oh, it looks like a badger or something. Sambor, he's over here. Hi, buddy. Oh, whoa, easy. What are you talking about? We gotta hunt an owl. <laughs> the hell, that looks like a person. No idea. He was an owl. Well. We did make some coin. How much did we make? Oh, it was a decent, about a hundred something. I'll take it. So he was acting as an owl in the woods and it was making Sambor mad, basically. <laughs> Took care of our owl. Is it dead? No, but he's gone and won't be back. He... I know that it will sound mental, but that wasn't really an owl. It was a man hired to pretend to be one. What are you talking about? It's absurd. Believe me, I know. He was supposedly hired by a man called Wolrad. Do you know him? Haha, <laughs> that son of a... Haha, <laughs> you really got me. So you do. Of course, I know him. He was one of us, the undying first. Was he really the owl? Said he lived in a place called Tutki? Of course I know him. He was one of us, the undying... F okay, I just read that. Okay, we don't know about any of this stuff. Wait for the next day. Okay. Well, that's that mission done. So, let's head back up here. First of all, we're going to try to avoid wolves as much as we can, but if we can find a fox, that would be nice. We could hunt that. That would be a little bit of progress to it. Oh, there's that wolf. Let's uh, let's do a wide berth of him. The fox was over here at one point. Oh, there he is. Okay. I hit him. Come after me. Come after me. We got him. There's one fox. Oh, there's another one. Right over there in front of us. There's two more. No way. Did I just kill him dead? I think I did. I killed both of them dead with one shot. Nice. Now there's that one done. All right. Well, that's two story things done, or at least parts of one. Nice. That's a moose. Okay, we're cold. We're going to get back to the road up here, and we're going to head back. That's a moose. I really want to get him, but I think we'll be over-encumbered if we do. Yeah, we don't have enough room, really, weight-wise. We do have a little bit of food, though, from both of those, all three of those foxes. So our next chapter is just make a wooden hoe and a simple bag. That's easy to do. So, I did see that 
not to basically play the story too quick because it uh, you want to take your time this is kind of a slow form game that'd be a beautiful place for a village down there like right near that water so they said yeah take your time enjoy the game you know enjoy the ride obviously I have settings a little bit boosted in this to help with our progression a little bit All right, so we're going to make some more potage while we're right here. We need meat and bowls, basically. We got four, so we can make four of these. Craft. Beautiful. There's some four more potage. We're gonna take one of those and eat it. Actually, we can craft another potage right now to replace that one we just ate. There we go. So now we'll put this potage back in here and all of these. How long does the food last us, I wonder? Uh, it says 100%, so that's still good. Alright. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We got quite a lot of stuff done. I believe it's almost the end of the day. What is... How come she's unhappy? Let's see, extraction, woodshed. I don't know, oh, well, maybe she's out of room. Let's grab 10 of these. We'll put them over in here. Actually, we'll just make these. Oh yeah, we gotta turn them into planks first. So yeah, we'll put them right here. We'll put our sticks in here. Everything else we'll hold on to. Yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. This is episode 9. We got quite a lot of stuff done. A piece of one of the stories. Uh, one of the chapters done. We hunted three foxes. So that was what we needed for that. Uh, talk to Sambor. We're still moving up in the world. We got quite a few vials. We got quite a few logs to make into planks. To make more vials. To get us some more money. And we're about halfway through the winter. And it can't go by quick enough for me right now. <laughs> this first winter is definitely rougher than most so thank you guys so much for watching we will see you guys next time right here on medieval dynasty